I, I consider this as my ministry um, because of lost people. I mean, uh, you know, there's lost people all over the place. And as, you know, Christians, uh, we're called to be a witness, you know, to be God's light in the world. Um, this is my world, right? So, I mean, most, like I said, most of these people are not Christians. So somebody's got to be a witness to them. So if, if I'm not a witness or, you know, there's, like I said, there's a couple other Christians here. If they're not witnesses, well, who's going to be a witness to them? And that's, you know, I feel very passionate about that. And that's, that is my call. And I think for a Christian in any setting, I mean, we're rubbing shoulders with non-Christians all the time. It's to be, to show them God's love. It's not to preach at them. It's not to, there are times to have appropriate words, but actions, in my view, speak much louder than words ever will ever speak, you know, will ever communicate the gospel. Um, so when somebody, when somebody has a question or somebody wants to, you know, has a problem in their life, they want some answers, they'll come to you be, because they know, they know by your actions what kind of person you are and who you represent. I represent Christ. So they should know by my conduct what kind of person I am and that I can hopefully give them some guidance in whatever situation they're facing. Several years ago, we developed what we call the Hadrian Way. And uh, the Hadrian Way really just came out of our operating principles that we developed over the years. So it really wasn't anything new. It was really just putting it down on paper, you know, refining the words a little bit to really capture our meaning. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure we don't lose kind of the essence of the company. So we have something to go back to to remind ourselves as a company what we stand for. And so, you know, we, we wrote it out. We had our management re finesse and refine it. And so we came, we came down to a number of, you know, key principles. Number one is people. And with people, you know, we, uh, it's really about respect. And so it boils down to, it doesn't matter who you are in the company. You are, uh, you, well, you know, I would say you're created in God's image and uh, you, because of that, you deserve to be respected. Um, and so it's just how you treat people. Um, you know, sometimes you have to have difficult conversations with people and, and there's difficult choices you have to make. But as long as you respect that person um, and treat them, I would say, err on the side of generosity, it's amazing how you can navigate through some of those difficult situations and and the people come out of that, I think, for the better. We come out of it for the better. So, but you know, you're investing in people, you're training people, um, you're giving people responsibility, and you're giving people the authority to carry out those responsibilities. I've been in situations in previous workplaces where I've been given responsibility, but very little authority. And that is one of the most frustrating uh, situations or environments you can be in because you're held responsible for something but you can't fix it and so it's very important to, I think to give people the authority that means sometimes it'll fail and as a as a leader as a president my job is to pick them up dust them off maybe review what happened and but also give them the assurance that it's okay you know what we all learn from mistakes and now we need to move on and to you know, increase, uh, to improve ourselves and improve the value of the company. So it's, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, profitability is important. I mean, you know, companies need to make money. If you're not making money, um, you know, you're going you're gonna to be out of business. Simple as that. And so it's important to make, to, to be profitable. But if you make profit your core um, principle, your main reason um, to be, to exist as a company, uh, you'll fail. You know, the profit is the byproduct of a good company. And so, you know, that's why you need to, you know, you need to focus on your people. And if, if people are doing the right things, you've got the right people doing the right things for the company, given the freedom, you know, to create, uh, to fail, like we talked a little bit about, but really to create, it's amazing what they can do. I mean. Uh, you know, I, I let people do 
what they need to do. I'm not looking over their shoulders. I'm not telling them what to do. And people create some of the most fascinating things. I mean, even in our business, it's amazing. And it's, it, to me, one of the biggest rewards is seeing what our people can create if you give them the opportunity, the tools, the skills to do those things. So the profit, then the profit comes. It's very important. We, uh, we don't really talk about it, okay. um, but we, uh, we do have a, a, a donation program and uh, based on biblical principles. So uh, we, uh, we, we do have a policy. We, uh, we support overseas uh, works and we support local works. Most of it is geared uh, to helping uh, kids. So kids through, um, you know, educational, um, uh, means um, you know just clean living uh, so in terms of you know clean water helping them in their environment that kind of thing all wrapped up in the love of Christ